Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's me, Eric Techstuffs. We're back again with a, another video. <clears throat> Something I wanted to get to for uh, quite some time here. Yes, a package. Always getting these in the mail. And uh, this is something I wanted to get for uh, quite some time. So let's just get into it real quick. Go ahead and pull this out. And this is a Kenwood. Is uh, You've uh, seen the video. Uh, April uh, talked about turning public safety uh, radios into um, ham radios. And, uh, yep, we're going to do it again with this one here. Um, and, of course, it looks like the other ones, doesn't it? Uh, this one here is a, let's see if we can get that in. It's a uh, TK780H-1. Uh, so that'll let us get uh, get acquainted with this unit. Of course, it looks like the other one has a power cord as our adapter. Uh, for an external speaker uh, jack right there uh, and uh, <clears throat> we have a uh, hole uh, sorry about that uh, we have a hole kind of right there where the um, TKG 7 or TKG or TK <clears throat> it's the accessory uh, jack that I, I had on the other one actually let's pull that other one out um, but yeah April of this year and I'm going to pull it out of my uh, just got the radio itself looks in really good shape though uh, a little scuffs here but uh, nothing that I can't just get out real quick <clears throat> oh, looks like it was used um, we can pull that up here it's very faintly it says highway HW or HWYs in white markers been kind of cleaned off a bit here worn down so it's a highway radio um, so yeah, it looks to be in, in great shape, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the other one from my magical box of tricks that I have down here. Yes, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I got a microphone, which I actually need. This is just the uh, the basic microphone, but uh, I got these on a whole closeout uh, when I did. And uh, also have these ones here that have the... Uh, <clears throat> keypad like the other videos here where um, you can do DTMF tones and all that and these these are actual Kenwood uh, versions right there um, so yeah that's uh, I wanted to get this and this is a, a knockoff version it's not the original Kenwood that's a, a gray microphone but these are the Kenwoods but I can use either one of these um, I mean, I don't even know if they use auto patch and stuff anymore. I have to. Well, the camera died as usual. That's something always going on here. But yeah, these are the uh, two radios here. Um, but this, you can see a significance here. And this is the connection. I think it's a TKG18 rather um, plug there. And But otherwise, these units are pretty identical. The uniform uh, right there. But you can see that's a definite definite change here um, with the heat sink so you know there's a little more power in this unit so yeah this is the one I did and I uh, got it on to uh, the seven centimeters so this is a UHF version and what I always do with these is this uh, FCC ID here um, oh goodness we're gonna have that kind of uh, focus there we go so uh, yeah we have uh, a little bit of FCC ID. So what I always do is take that FCC ID right there and put it into Google or whatever favorite search engine you have there. And um, yeah, once you get that FCC ID, you can you can see uh, exactly what this radio was meant to do, meant for. Um, there it is, right there. And of course, that version here is the one that uh, gets you UHF. And the one here on this unit is uh, right there. And I've already pulled it up. So let's go ahead and just get to uh, this radio real quick. Go ahead and. Well, here's just a couple of frequencies I'm going to put in real quick. Um, I mean, all I have to do is copy and paste here and here and here, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to put you through that. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm going to put in a couple of the two meter frequencies here. There's a couple right there. Um, one, two, three, four, four. I'll put in four of those frequencies. Um, I'll put in the Marine Band. Why not? And this is actually the full frequency uh, list here. Uh, some of these are simplex, some of these are duplex channels, some of them are only in the um, different regions, but uh, you know, like this is a receive only channel. Interesting. Um, and we got a couple up here that are governmental, um, like in the 80s here. These are all uh, some different channels here that uh, have been changed for governmental use and uh, environmental protection stuff like that and some of these are are just uh international you see the u.s and canada is usually an a channel it's a crazy band plan really it's all over the map it's 156 is some of them some of them are in 157s and yeah it is a ridiculous mess i don't know how this all came about but uh a is usually the um the u.s and canada sometimes share Sometimes our international channels, uh, like 3A is a U.S. Coast Guard channel, and the uh, 4A is a Canada uh, Coast Guard channel frequency here. And some of them are just all over the place. There's uh, 156s, and it jumps up to 157s, and back down to 156. And, you know, and it's interchange in between here, because like this uh, environmental protection here, I talked to a couple people. And said, yeah, the old police frequency is kind of tied in here. And this one actually came down. It was on the receive only channel, but it was the nine. Um, what was that right here? 156, 750. It was uh, also known sometimes as a police frequency. So you could end up using a marine radio and hear the police. And that's a receive only channel. But yeah, it's interesting the way this band plan is. So I'm going to add that stuff. It'll be tons of copying and pasting there. No sense putting you through that. And I'm going to add the merge channels in as well. Um, these are the uh, normal channels. Uh, merge 1 through 3, and blue dot and green dot. Um, and these were the uh, frequencies used. And these are multi-use radio service for that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and put this in. Uh, put all of these in. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, um, Two ray radio service similar to CB established by the FCC in the fall of 2000. Merge created a radio service allowing for license by rule, part 95, operation, narrow select of the VHF band with a power line of 2 watts. The FCC formally defined merge as a private two way short distance voice or data communications for personal or business activities of the general public. Well, I spent a lot of time programming and I got this somewhat programmed up the way I think I'd like to have it done. This also allows a, a flexibility like the other radios. I'm learning more about them and how to actually program them. A lot of cool features you can do because these also still have the option of doing trunking but we're doing conventional analog systems here. So I set it up for different systems within this. And yes, you can have multitude of systems programmed up here. And I'm trying to find out how many you can actually have. 32 different systems. And what do you mean by systems, you say? Well, if you hit on one of these and we do a system edit, you will now see groups under two meter ham, uh, CHS with Charleston. <clears throat> I just use the airport um, abbreviation. Then I put in the repeaters that, uh, that we have for two meters. Everything's going out uh, high power and everything. But you can have up to, in those 32 different systems, 250 channels set up between systems. So I have uh, two meter ham and uh, let's see, uh, system down. Uh, marine, I put in all the marine frequencies. I put in a little bit of skips with the different channels that don't uh, they have duplex and stuff. But yeah, that, that has 250 as well. 
And the system down again, we have our MERS, which like I had here, well, I gotta put in MERS 1. I somehow miss MERS 1. We'll go ahead and edit that in, but uh, yeah, we got, uh, we'll have all the channels here, it'll be eight channels. Uh, MERS 1 through 3, uh, blue dot, green dot, uh, blue dot, uh, wideband, and green uh, dot, wideband, because they go both narrow and wide throughout the different uh, different variations here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, have them uh, programmed in as well. So with the flexibility of everything, this will work out real well. So I'm going to go ahead and send this file to the radio. Well, let's go ahead and program this up. Go ahead and power it up. Go ahead and hook up our data cable. And we're going to go ahead and just, uh, you know, send it to the radio. And there we go. We're programming up. Showing data is transferring through. Okay, so there is our programmed up radio. It didn't take that long at all. We'll go ahead and just program, uh, put our mic in rather. And uh, yeah, so this is system one, system two, system three. System one, we have our MERS. So our channel up this way, MERS 1, 2, 3, 4, green dot, blue dot, wideband version of the green and blue dots. Uh, and that's a uh, license free to anybody there. And um, now we have our marine uh, radio channels set up here. We do have better uh, better wattage out of this radio now. Um, oh goodness! So uh, yeah, we got 42 watts out of that. I was using, and I don't even know why I tried it, but it was a terrible idea. I will let you know this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't make anything like this. This is not meant to handle what I was sending through it. But yeah, it's 42 watts right now out of this uh, 40 watt radio into our dummy load. All of our MERS channels. But yeah, this is the, uh, the VHF version and I have the other version here. It's a low power version. So, uh, yeah, I've been having some fun with these Kenwoods. These Kenwoods are amazingly flexible, small, large heat sink, 45 watts, so that's cool. I got a cable on order for this, so this will be fully stocked with a microphone. That's, this one's not a Kenwood, but like I said, the DTMF one's a Kenwood. But, yeah, I'm going to get these all set up and put them both together. And, yeah, of course, I could get... Uh, you know the video I was doing before which was the uh, Bofang uh, units and I do appreciate uh, the proper pronunciation on that but uh, yeah I, he's always grouped together in different uh, frequencies it seems but uh, yeah this is a mobile version and uh, yeah this is just a VHF it's not a dual band but these were old school public safety radios and these things are concretely built you can run over them. You can throw them around. These things last a lifetime. Um, so Kenwood's always been a great brand for public safety. And yeah, that's about what these were for, 146 and such. So we'll go ahead and get everything else uh, buttoned up on here. And I will uh, say 73s. And I'm bringing this up next time on the next video. Uh, or I'll throw an update down the road uh, after I play around with this. But yeah, I just programmed it up. Maybe I'll move some buttons around and see what else is uh, what else I can do with it. But uh, in any regard, yeah, this thing is a, is a great little feature, great little uh, radio, literally, to the shack. So 
do appreciate you if you've uh, just stuck around or just found this video. Uh, yeah, go ahead and throw uh, throw a like down there, subscribe and all that, and the bell and all that, and throw a thumbs up. And I do appreciate each and every one of you. Emergency communication seems to be something very, very near and dear to a lot of people's hearts. Uh, recently as well, the prepper uh, community. Uh, so yeah, you can find these. As a lot of the uh, police have gone to digital and encrypted communications, these radios now become available for our fun use. And uh, yeah, they even have trunking capabilities in there. But uh, in any regard, we'll see you in the next video. I do appreciate it. Uh, anything you want to see, please uh, always leave me a comment down below. I love to hear what everybody has to say. And uh, I'll go ahead and I heard someone say I didn't check my email and I haven't. I do apologize. I'm going to go ahead and check that. That's on my about page of this website on YouTube. Uh, EricTechStuffs at gmail.com. So I'm going to go ahead and log into that right now. And I'm sure I got a ton of emails to go through.